Jude Bellingham has become the second most expensive teenager of all time. Jude Bellingham. Jude Bellingham. Jude Bellingham. Jude Bellingham. Jude Bellingham. Jude Bellingham being a future Ballon d'Or winner. Plenty of siblings enjoy kicking a ball around in the back garden together, but it's rare for multiple brothers and sisters to make it to the top tiers of professional football. Usually, one or two rise to the occasion, while the rest play for smaller teams or even at the amateur level. But sometimes, football runs deep in a family's veins, producing exceptional footballing siblings. The latest and potentially greatest pair of brothers making waves in the sport right now are Jude and Job Bellingham. Jude is already a superstar, making headlines across England and Spain. But just how talented are they as a duo? And could Job rise to become a footballing superstar alongside his brother? Jude needs no introduction. Arguably the hottest talent in football right now, the young midfielder was born in Stourbridge in the West Midlands in June of 2003. His father, Mark Bellingham, was a talented footballer in his own right, having scored more than 700 goals down in the non-league divisions. So it's hardly a surprise that Jude, and later Job, followed in his father's footsteps. Growing up, Jude idolised the famous French footballer Zinedine Zidane, a Real Madrid legend. Jude began his footballing journey at his hometown club, Stourbridge Juniors, but at the age of eight, he joined Birmingham City's under eights team. It didn't take long for Jude to showcase his immense talent. At just 15, he started playing for Birmingham's under 23 team. A year later, at only 16, he made his debut for Birmingham's first team and scored the winning goal in his very first home game. Jude quickly cemented his place in the first team, scoring four goals in one season. His impressive performances earned him a move to the German giants Borussia Dortmund, making him the most expensive 17-year-old ever. Birmingham fans only got to witness Jude's brilliance for one season, but the club recognised his special talent. They even retired his number 22 jersey in honour of his incredible season. The club understood Jude's potential and nurtured his development, knowing that he was destined for greatness. Although his time at Birmingham was brief, his impact was profound and he will always be fondly remembered by the fans. At Dortmund, Jude did exceptionally well and continued to improve. He broke records as the youngest player ever to score for the team, helping them win the German Cup in 2021 and almost led them to the league championship in 2023. They were close, but on the last day of the season, they lost and missed out on the title. Jude couldn't play because of a knee injury, and he had to watch from the sidelines while his teammates fought hard. It was a tough blow for him and the entire team. Still, despite not winning the Bundesliga title, Jude Bellingham had an outstanding season. He received numerous individual accolades, including the prestigious Golden Boy Trophy. Previous winners of this award include renowned stars like Wayne Rooney, Lionel Messi, Kylian Mbappe and Erling Haaland. His stellar season didn't go unnoticed. In the summer of 2023, he made a high-profile move to Real Madrid for a significant transfer fee, marking the biggest transfer of his career. This move made him one of the most talked about players in football. Most players need time to adjust to a club of Real Madrid stature, but not Jude. He hit the ground running scoring 10 goals in his first 10 games for the club. For comparison, David Beckham, one of England's most legendary players, scored 13 league goals for Real Madrid in 116 games. In just one season, Jude has set numerous records, scoring in his La Liga, Champions League and El Clasico debuts. He single-handedly won his side numerous games, often delivering crucial goals or assists in the dying moments such as his injury time winners in both his first and second El Clasico clashes with arch-rivals Barcelona, and his later strikes against Getafe in La Liga and Union Berlin in the Champions League. By the end of the season, Jude had scored 19 league goals for his new club and 23 across all competitions. He earned the La Liga Player of the Season award, along with numerous other prizes, completing a La Liga and Champions League double. He proved he could handle the biggest of stages, despite his tender age, not just contributing to Real's success, but becoming arguably the team's most important and impactful player, all in his first season. Given all that, all the awards and records, all the last-minute winners and jaw-dropping long-range strikes, all those confident celebrations in front of hordes of adoring Madridsters, it seems like nobody could possibly come close to matching Jude's talent. Well, what if his very own brother turned out to be even better? Meet Joe Bellingham, 
Born a couple of years after his big brother Jude, in September 2005, Job followed Jude into the Birmingham City Academy. And just like his brother, he made a big impact right away. In fact, he almost broke his big brother's record. He was only 15 years old when he was selected on the subs bench for League 2 Cup games with the first team. If he'd have managed to get onto the field, he'd have taken Jude's record as the youngest ever Birmingham City debutante. Unfortunately for Job, he wasn't subbed on in either game. But that didn't deter him. He kept working hard, scoring several goals at the under-18 level, progressing into the under-23s and eventually making his first team debut in a January 2022 FA Cup clash between Birmingham and Plymouth. With that, he became the second youngest player to appear in a Birmingham City shirt. From there, Job gradually gained the faith of his teammates and Birmingham's head coach, John Eustace, often trusted to come on in the latter stages of tricky games to settle his sides and secure some valuable points throughout the 2022-23 season. He also showed a lot of dedication, working to build muscle and improve the physical side of his game, even when he was sidelined with a stomach muscle injury early in 2023. He failed to score any goals at Birmingham, despite coming close on a few occasions, but showed a lot of character, intelligence and quality on the ball, far beyond his young age. That was enough to earn Job his own summer transfer to Sunderland Stadium of Light. Sure, it's not exactly the Bernabeu, and Job's transfer fee was only a fraction of the more than 100 million euros paid by Real Madrid for his big brother. But it's important to remember that Job is a couple of years younger than Jude and still has so much time to grow and develop. There's also an awful lot of pressure on Job's shoulders, as many people want to compare him to his brother and predict how his career could turn out. Some expect him to be even better than Jude. Others say he'll be in his big bro's shadow. That's a lot for anyone to deal with, let alone an 18-year-old kid. It might even be one of the reasons that Job decided to put his first name on the back of his Sunderland shirt, rather than his surname. His manager at the time, Tony Mowbray, explained he's trying to create his own identity. He doesn't want to live off the back of his brother's name. He wants to be the footballer that he is and show people what he can do. Well, Job has certainly been showing people what he can do. In his first season at Sunderland, he established himself as a pivotal part of the side. He scored his first two goals in a 2-1 win in only his second championship home game at the Stadium of Light. A series of impressive appearances followed, capped off with valuable goals against sides like Leeds, Plymouth and his former club, Birmingham City. Job ended the season with seven goals in total from 45 championship appearances. He was Sunderland's second highest scorer and has become a firm favourite with the fans. And while he's not yet ready for a full England call-up alongside his brother, Job has made his mark in England's youth sides, with many expecting to see him in the first team three lion shirt, perhaps a couple of years from now. If we compare Jude and Job's first season in the championship, there are some interesting elements that stand out. Of the two, Job scored more goals, seven compared to Jude's four, and took more shots overall. However, that's pretty much the only area in which Job wins, in almost every other aspect of the game, from pass completion to successful tackles, interceptions, carries and take-ons, Jude wins hands down. So what can we conclude from all that? The simple answer is this, Jude and Job may share the same surname and they're both clearly talented footballers with bright futures ahead of them, but they're not really the same sort of players at all. Jude has established himself as one of the most complete midfielders of his generation contributing both defensively and defensively to control matches from the middle of the park. Job, meanwhile, is more of an attack-oriented player. You won't see him track back nearly as much as his big brother, and he tends to play much higher up the park, sitting behind the striker, making plays and finishing them when he gets the chance. They operate in different ways, but both share key qualities like confidence, self-belief and determination which have seen them overcome all sorts of challenges to get where they are today. And given the fact they're both still so young, it's quite possible that they could both take their games to another level completely. You see, the journey of the Bellingham brothers is just the beginning, and the future holds endless possibilities. With Jude already a superstar and Job showing immense promise, football fans around the world have a lot to look forward to. Will they conquer the biggest stages together? Will we witness them donning the England jersey side by side, or perhaps even sharing the field at one of Europe's elite clubs? Only time will tell, 
But one thing is certain, the story of Jude and Job of Bellingham is far from over. Their determination, skill and love for the game will undoubtedly lead them to new heights, and we'll be here to witness every thrilling moment. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more content on Football Stars. Until next time, thanks for watching.